Jimmy Johnson is here. They've been waiting all day to say congratulations. I don't know, I've never been a race car driver, but I have to imagine every single win matters. Every single time you're behind the wheel, it's a big deal. And you pulled off seven. Did you think you'd be here? No, there's, there's no chance. This has been uh, beyond my wildest dreams. I, mean, I grew up out here in this desert, racing around in off-road trucks, uh, racing dirt bikes out in Henderson, um, uh, racing Sam Boyd Stadium in off-road trucks. And in NASCAR, I knew of a little bit, but I, I, it wasn't my dream. It wasn't where I thought I would end up. And then through life and through situations, Chevrolet led me to, to NASCAR and it was completely and totally meant to be. And uh, it's, it's turned out all right, so we'll take it. Congratulations on uh, making history. Um, so we've met, we know each other, I work in the sport. Everybody where I work, when you got out of the car, the emotion of jumping in the air, obviously you don't plan that. What did you feel when you were climbing out of your race car and you realized you did it? Yeah, I, I kind of lost my shit about calm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was the most epic moment. Um, to have the championship, and I forgot about the race win until later, but to, to have everything come together in that moment, the emotion of Seven and what Seven's been about for myself and Hendrick, um, to tie the greats, and then to win the race, and to actually, you know, we had a decent day. We ran, you know, top five, six, maybe six at worst all day. Um, to have it turn into a win and under those circumstances with the cautions, it was just a wild, wild range of emotions. So a lot of fun. How long from when you got out of the car, you, you lost your... You were crazy, right? And then you jumped on your ads. How long from that moment till you see Chad? Till you actually see Chad? It was a while. It was until the stage was set up on the front stretch when I saw Chad. Uh, my crew guys all came running up. Um, we proceeded to lose our shit.com for a while. I don't know why .com makes it sound it, it better. It makes it sound better. Uh, what, so, what was the first thing you said to Chad when you guys did finally get to see each other? Yes, .com. We have the .com. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, crazy, right? It's unthinkable. It's so, a crazy season. You're here, you've been here before. And one of my other friends in NASCAR was like, we're going to have a party in, in Vegas for Jimmy. I'm like, we've done that. We've done that before. But does this feel more sweet to you for some reason? Is, is Are you soaking it in or is it just... Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely soaking it in for a, a variety of reasons. You know, the emotion that went behind the competing for seven, the pride that I have in our team and what we've been able to accomplish. You know, every year is a new battle, so so that aspect. And this year was a challenging year through the summer months. Um, we tied the two biggest legends in our sport and guys that I have the utmost respect for. So that was a tough, that was a tough. I saw a video the other day of Richard Petty. I'm sure you've seen it. I'm yeah. sure everybody's blowing it up. Isn't he just cool? He's so cool. And he said, it's a quote from the video. Jimmy Johnson is the greatest of our time. Period. Excluding nobody. When you hear the King say that about your career, what do you feel? I haven't seen that. That's you haven't seen that no. video? I want to send it to you. Uh, I, I know how I felt when, when Dale Jr. told me that his dad was here. He think I was a badass. And that, that meant the world to me. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in a different manner. I raced different cars. I'm in a different generation, a different era. But it doesn't take away the respect that I have for those men and what they accomplished and what they've done for our sport. And uh, I'm just thrilled to be a part of history. It's, it's take me a year ago, a year ago, Homestead, till now. What, what's changed besides the championship? You went through a lot. It was a long season. No, it was a long season. And the first thing that comes to mind is, is one in Gordon, a went out. You know, that was such a, a high priority for me. He's been such a big part of my career and my life. And then uh, you know, we started the year pretty quick, won a couple races, and then hit our, our tough spell. And it wasn't just the 48, but all of Hendrick Motorsports. And to see our group lock arms and figure out how we were going to figure things out and, and build fast race cars and competitive race cars uh, was a cool journey. And I've, I've forged relationships within Hendrick that uh, I've always had relationships, but to a whole new level with Alan, Gustafson, Keith Rodden, Greg Ives, uh, Chase Elliott, Casey Kane, Dale Jr. Uh, we got to know Alex Bowman, which that Alex guy Bowman deserves. Was talking about the whole uh, then Jeff Gordon came back. He barely fit in his suit, but he got the job done. <laughs> I don't think he understands retirement very well, right? Well, he, he's got it. He's, well, on that respect, yes. But uh, that guy's just good. He's a machine, right? Yeah. 
Now you find time, I was telling everybody, uh, I haven't had a bike since I was 10. You ride bikes all the time. Has there been a time with your, your exercise and your, reg your regiment where you pushed it too far and, and you still have to go to work and you're like, that was a little longer than I should have run this week? Because I wonder if you ever have muscle fatigue. We did, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's part of the, um, part of it. I, I try not to have too big of a day on Saturday or, or Friday leading into a race. But um, it's amazing what the, what you put the body through and learning about hydration, which is definitely not this beverage. <laughs> and nutrition, you, you can put yourself through a lot. Welcome to Vegas. I want to know about, you get out of the car, you run in, you do all the media. When's the first time you get to your phone? When do you find your phone on championship night? It wasn't until 2.30? No, I'm sorry, like? probably 1.30. 1.30. What's your phone look like? There was, uh, I think, 600 text messages <laughs> and, and a couple hundred emails. Um, yeah, it was, it was deep. Are and, you then, and then the problem, real quick, though, it's a great problem to have. I'm not bitching at all. But you respond and say thank you to someone, and then they send two or three texts back. So you, I was at 600, and before I knew it, it was like 800, 900, 1,000. <laughs> oh my god, this isn't getting any better. We were joking at work that you're going to be like Forrest Gump, where you'll be like, so I went to meet the president at the White House again. And, uh, I mean, it's just un unbelievable. So now we head into 2017. Do you get to enjoy this? How soon before you're focused already on next season? I, I haven't thought a bit about 17 yet. Uh, it's been about now. Because listen, if you're going to win eight, we really want to know right now if you're going to win eight. Because we're in Vegas, and this would be a good time to put money out for you. That's what we're after. Seven's been a very special number to me over the years, but eight, when I look at my amateur years and early professional years, eight's the number that really provides. So I, I, I have high expectations for eight. Yeah, I've asked uh, everybody I've interviewed today if they think you're going to get to eight, and everyone's saying absolutely. They're saying you have many, many years. As you watch some of your competitors start to retire, are you thinking about it? Is it tempting, or are you like, I'm going to keep driving until I can't drive? Real you know, I, I want to race, and I'm going to race until they tell me I can't sit in the car anymore. But you know, at some point, stepping down from the 39 races that we have at the Cup, cup level uh, will happen. That's not anytime soon. Um, but when I'm done, I still want to race some endurance sports car races. I want to come back and, and run the Chili Bowl for sure. Yeah, I think the party in the Chili Bowl is probably better than the racing in the Chili Bowl. <laughs> Uh, but there's just a lot of stuff I want to race. I want to go back to my off-road routes, and I want to go jump, jump some trucks again and get dirty. Are we going to so, see behind the wheel some of that someday? Absolutely. That, that's that's really the goal, but I'm, I'm in a great spot with Henry Motorsports, Sports, and uh, I, I've got plenty of time left in, in that Lowe's 48 car to, to win some more championships. You have, a, you have a beautiful family. They're little, though. Do they understand what's going on, or is it just old hat, or do they know like this is something that's different now? They tell like this is crazy. They, I'm not sure they know the difference, but they're, they're having a good time. They you know that they, they get to wear pretty championship dresses on, nice. on Friday night. Uh, they're both very girly and uh, ready for that moment. Uh, but it's been very special for me uh, to to have my family such a part of this. Um, when we won the championship in 13, our youngest was literally just six months old, and to now have them mobile and involved and. You know, being able to hold a little finger in victory lane, uh, we have memories last lifetime. I imagine being here with all your competitors and all that, everybody's here, right, this weekend. Are you getting to run into even more people? Because it's kind of like, I think I've even told you congratulations before, but I saw you again and I'm like, congratulations. Are more people coming back up to you again to just tell you, like, great run, man, great run? It was pretty quick at Homestead from you know, other competitors, team members, people that work in the industry, and to actually have, a, you know, have seven to ten days to let things sink in and everybody collect their thoughts. Uh, I've seen many today and I've had a chance to actually connect and, and say hello and uh, you know, say thank you to their, their kind words. Yeah, we saw Leonard Wood, he was just up here, he was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, I was just telling Jimmy this and that, and so everybody's just in awe of what's going on. Um, Tony Stewart, obviously, he's leaving the sport. Um, we see a lot of young talent right now. Who excites you in our sport? Who do you, who do you see that is exciting you? Because it's no good if there's not great competition out there, right? You need to have a competition great. No, you do, and there's so much good talent coming along, and uh, I think our sport's in great hands, and you have guys like Kyle Larson. It's such a, such a real racer, and, and obviously shows that week in and week out with everything he races and the, the passion he brings to driving the race car. Chase Elliott's going to be a household name. 
And then, then you look down and the guy's like, uh... Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby's gonna be good. Ricky's gonna be a good driver. It's not the name that's coming to mind, but we'll get Byron Riggs so on the horse. Sure, Byron Riggs. There's a ton of talent coming along, and there's there's guys that I'm not mentioning but, uh, that have a ton of talent. And you're 41 now, right? 41. Yes. And when do you turn 42 later? Soon, right? September. Like, September. Yeah, so don't push it on me, too. Push it on What's different now with the, is it the experience of all the races you've run? With age seems to come good decision making behind the wheel. Do you feel like you're matured as a driver? Do you feel that? I, I do, and I feel very fortunate that I came in. That my, my rookie year I was 25 and then turned 26 partway through the year. At the time, I didn't think I was ever going to get a shot at the cup level, so I was nervous that I missed the boat. But the way it's turned out, um, I think Logano is just now 26, I found out. I told them that's one of my favorites, and they were really excited about it. Would you tell them how nice Joey Logano is? For the longest time I was booed, and now I'm being cheered. So in time, <laughs> oh, I'm getting cheered. Would you mind telling that story? I, I heard this story. So when you're in the back of the pickup truck during introductions, yeah. you said that sometimes, sometimes, some of these people are all the time. What do they do? All the time I was shot the bird. They were shooting them the bird, <laughs> but not on Homestead. Not in on Homestead, that weekend. There wasn't one bird. I saw a lot of hands going up, and everybody's holding seven. That was pretty cool. And everybody was behind you. Yeah. And we saw raw emotion. Your team worked so hard. They love Jimmy Johnson here. So, are you are you still training right now, or are you really letting loose? Are you relaxing this week? Twelve ounce girls. <laughs> Guys, give it up for the seven-time champion, Jimmy Johnson. Goodness.